What's going on my pretty pandas? It's your Huckable Hipster here and welcome to Resident Evil Remake. If I remember, it's a remake, not the PlayStation version. No, 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 no. This is the Resident Evil, actually it's the remastered version of the remake, so it's the remake of the remake of the remake of the remake. But yeah, I am so excited. Oh my god, you guys have no idea how excited I am to play this. Like, okay, you hear me going on about how excited I am to play this, but we're here. We're here. We're finally getting to play Resident Evil, the very first game I ever played in my existence of humanity when I was 10 years old. This was made in 96. I played this when I was 10. So I'm just, I'm thrilled. This entire playthrough, the whole shebang of this is dedicated to my dad. And he is the one who actually got this for me when I was 10 years old. And I'm just, uh, I'm, I love this so much. So dad, if you're watching, thank you so much for making me the gamer that I am today. So... I'm really happy about that. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this playthrough. Let's get into it. Let's see what's new in the remake of the remake of the remake. So we're gonna... Actually... Is there any content? Why does it say load game if there's no con... Oh, okay. Okay, I got you. We have display... Wide original... Oh, we're gonna go with... I don't know. Original. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have a problem with the original. I will go to wide. Controls, alternate, original, and we'll go with alternate. Subtitles on. Yes, we need the subtitles on. <laughs> okay, so... Oh, I remember this. Alright, so question. How do you like your games? Like climbing a mountain, fulfilling, but takes a lot of work. Like going on a hike. Good exercise, but not too strenuous. They added a third one. Like taking a walk, you can relax and enjoy yourself. They added an easier one. Whenever I used to play this on the GameCube, that's how old I am, uh, they only had the first two options, but we're going to go with the second one because I am an expert at this game. We do not need to go all easy schmeasy lemon peasy. So, oh, we got Chris Redfield in the house and we got Jill Valentine, the one who I, I model after. Like, I absolutely love this character so much. She is one of the strongest gaming characters besides Lara Croft I've ever seen. What are the up and down arrows? No, really? Oh, that's really cool. You can change to her Resident Evil 5 or original. That's awesome. So can you... Yes, you can do this. So you can be steroid Chris or natural easygoing. You see, this is the Chris that when he comes to greet your daughter at the front door is like, Hi, Mr. So-and-so, I'll pick your daughter up and I'll drop her back off at 11. This Chris is like, your daughter calls me daddy. So we're gonna go, obviously, with Jill. She's my girl. She's my home girl. Come on. Come on now. I remember playing this when I was 10 and my dad wanted to check out the graphics of how everything looks because he wanted to see what it was like on the game console considering the fact that before that I played like you know Game Boy and all that kind of stuff but never like GameCube and full legit game and everything like that. Situated in Northwest Raccoon City where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots Bravo Team who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about 10 people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo Excuse team me. was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris. Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare. Up oh, there's my girl. There's my girl. There's my girl. It's actually just allergies, but it's so beautiful. The graphics, they really improved the graphics a lot, like I will give them that. From the GameCube version to now, this is a remastered and I can see such a difference in just the quality alone. It's, oh my god, I can't wait to see how the other, the other meshes look. It's, oh my god. Oh, 
This made me terrified of Dobermans when I was younger. Now I actually want to pet Doberman because of this game. <laughs> oh man, how fast things change. That's my girl. Even the quality of the dogs actually improved in those missions. It's really, really good. So many memories are just like flooding back. During my time, I want to build a mansion like that. That looks amazing. There are only three stars members left now. Captain Wesker, Barry, and myself. We don't know where Chris is. It's beautiful. What is this place? Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. Hey, Whisker, where's Chris? Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find... What was that? Chris? No. Jill, go and investigate. I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. All right. You two go. I'll secure this area. Stay sharp. See? What I tell you, the same line that's used from the evil within is used from this. The evil within, which it's the same creator, but they they used it from Resident Evil to that game as well. A dying oh, room. God, I love that so much. Oh. Okay, we can move. Alright, oh wow, the controls are really good. So guys. This is going to be an intensive walkthrough, also for just because I really think I'm very good at this game, so why not make it an intensive walkthrough as well? So every ink ribbon that you get, hold on to it and make sure you use them lightly because there are not that many of them in this game. Especially when you go from harder mode to harder mode, these typewriters will be your lifesaver, especially once you complete each task. Oh, but also. If you go back out here, you're going to encounter Wesker and tell you to stay sharp. If you go try to go back out a second time, then you're going to have Barry say, Oh, you know, this isn't like you. Why are you going out like this? But for all intents and purposes, we're going to go here. I think you'd better take a look at this. What is it? It's blood. Blood. Jill, let's see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Let's just hope it's not Chris's. Oh, trust me, buddy. There are things much worse than Chris's blood. <laughs> you see, like, the crackling of the fire? Everything in here, I just, I loved this game with an inch of its life. Whenever I did not know how games were created, I just, I have so much more respect for everything. And there's gonna be a lot of doors opening, so bear with me. There's gonna be so many just doors and doors and doors and doors and so much doors. Okay. Oh, this hallway, we don't have to go down here yet, but look at that, look at, girl, look at that, that highlight though, look, oh, that face, highlight on fleek. Now this is where, this is, this is, this is a good part. See, now you're going to see similarities between the evil within and this one. Famous zombie turnaround. It's iconic. Now what you gotta do, you just wanna go back. You wanna just keep going back. You don't wanna shoot him. Save your bullets, people. Save your bullets. <laughs> I, I, I made that mistake so many times in the very beginning whenever I played this game. Save your bullets. <laughs> Barry! What is it? Look out! It's a monster! Let me take oh, care no, of no, it! Brain, brain. Wow, 
What the hell is this thing? I found God, Kenneth killed by this thing. Let's report this to Wesker. So now we're gonna go back over here. Man, the graphics on this have improved tenfold. Like, this is outstanding. Yeah, the little wheeze there. The little wheeze there, buddy. Yeah, see, when it, <laughs> there's gonna be so many door opening sequences, I'm considering cutting out some of the door opening sequences, but I'm gonna leave them there probably. <laughs> Wesker! Jill, help me music. look for him. Let's not leave this hall. Good idea. I have literally, no joke, I have an ambiance playlist of this game i've had it for the past few years and it, i will listen to it to help me concentrate like i love the background music of this now this part of the game you won't need to go in here yet but just take a listen at what happens whenever i click or tap on this door whatever it happens look at this listen better finish searching the hall for oh okay so yeah it won't trigger that until okay very any luck, Jill? No, nothing. What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. Same here. Chris, and now Wesker. There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room again. Okay, then. I'll try the door on the other side. <sighs> this mansion is gigantic. We could easily get lost. Let's start from the first floor. Okay. Oh, I almost forgot. It's a lock pick. You'd make better use of it. Yes, yes indeed we will. Thanks. I may need it. Listen. If something happens, let's meet up in this hall. Got it? Okay. But you know what would happen because you're gonna be off somewhere doing God knows who. Everybody on God's Green Earth has already played Resident Evil, so if you guys haven't, I would strongly suggest playing it. It is the game that made everything. It's the game that influenced Outlast, it's the game that influenced absolutely every single survival horror game that you can think of. Now, watch what happens whenever I, I, I check out this door. This was the creepiest thing to me at 10 years old. You're gonna have two keys or two kind of emblems that go in there as they act like uh, a key that will basically unlock it was the long version. But what we want to do first is go into this room across the hall like we said we were gonna do in less than an hour if done like a speed run, which I've tried to do before. I ended up succeeding I think once or twice at it. but. The really cool thing is, is that when they design the game, you can click on each object to just interact with it. And I'm probably going to be doing that. It'll probably increase the time of the game, but I want to be able to get everything out of this game that I can. Portraits and photographs decorate the wall. It looks like they can come alive at any moment. So inside there is a map fragment. And you're going to want to get that map fragment because that'll allow you to know where you're going. For playing sake, I'm not going to be using it because I already know every inch of this map like the back of my hand so we are going to just take it for the sake of playing the game through most players who've been experienced will not but since this game is so nostalgic for me and it means so much i want to be able to play it like i said to the full advantage of it so yeah we're gonna take that and that just shows you the entire layout of the house. The green is 100% of the items and the red spots you're in progress of searching. So yes, we're gonna go this way. And I don't want to spoil anything for you guys, but for those who want intensive walkthroughs of games, I kind of feel like it's beneficial to have someone who knows the entire game like the back of their hand. An eerie picture of the mansion, which is also a closet whenever you finish the game. This area just becomes some place where you can um, change out wardrobes and whatnot. It's a sword! A sword that we can take to beat our enemies down. Using defensive items such as daggers, excuse me, will allow you to escape momentarily when grabbed by enemies. However, you will not be able to escape when the enemy grabs you from behind. Then you love it when enemies grab you from behind. To equip the defensive item, go to the status screen and then select on the items for defense. Okay, I don't know why I shot a sound like Freud there, but... 
Oh, I forgot about you. Hey, buddy. Yeah, you're gonna wanna get away from the zombies. <laughs> oh, look at him. He's just sleepwalking past hope. No, no, no. I, oh, I didn't want that. Oh, crap. No, no. I take out the dagger and kaboosh. Yeah. I've only ever played GameCube before. Shit. Ooh. I've only ever played GameCube before, so I'm not exactly used to the controls on the Xbox for that. That's so weird. But yeah, I remember back in the day, uh, we, ha we had to use two discs instead of just one disc or one electronic uh, copy. We didn't have electronic copies back then. But yeah, we're going to go this way. And after this playthrough, I think it'll be fair enough to let me know down in the comments if you guys want an intensive walkthrough of me telling you absolutely everything, or do you want me to just play this with you guys being shook constantly. So yeah, let me know, but for today's purposes, I'm going to be playing the walkthrough as an intense walkthrough, letting you guys know all the goodies. Goody goody gum drop drop. I was about to say Cox. <laughs> goody goody gum Cox. <laughs> okay. Oh, hi. 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 Hi, buddy. What's going on there, bub? Okay, we're gonna get you, Kenneth. You're supposed to have a tape on you. Yes. The corpse of your comrade, Kenneth. It looks like he's holding something. It's a film that belonged to Kenneth. I need a video player to see what it's recorded on. Oh god, VHS. Whew. I remember that, man. Yeah, I, it's, it's such a throwback to see all of this because it's just like, oh, they have VHSs in there. I haven't used a VHS in God knows how long. Oh, uh, look at that. Look at that ambiance, by the way. Look at that moonlight. Look at the moonlight. No, face this way. Look at the moonlight. I bet you... Oh, well. Well, I just used one bullet. Oh, well. It's okay. Whew. Oh, there's another handgun magazine. Perfect. Yes, I will take it. Okay. This... Ooh. Well, then. You died rather quickly. And suddenly... There's a corpse. Collapsed on the floor like it was. An instant death. Dun 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 dun. What the hell happened to this mansion? Well, birds are also dying all over the place. I don't know if they instantly collapsed. It would more, be more like a plot. We'd be like, Clean! so you're gonna need these. Just, if you're like me and you tend to mess up a lot, you're gonna need these. All of them. Just all the herbs. You're gonna just need all the herbs. Oh man. And so we're gonna combine these actually. We're gonna go over here. Use that, combine with that, that way it creates a medicine. God, these controls, I have to get used to the controls. Yeah, the controls are not my friend right now. I think I might have to switch to the original controls, but that's okay. I always had this ongoing joke that she looked like she she's drunk by the way I'm controlling her because whenever I used to control her on the GameCube, it looked like she was walking drunk. Ooh. Oh, okay. So this zombie that you're gonna encounter over here eventually is called a Crimson Head. These are zombies that have been left to just basically rot without them being burnt, without them, you know, without you disintegrating them or disposing of them properly. So you're gonna wanna take care of them whenever they're in their zombie state. Uh, uh, no, get away from me! No! Ah, ew, ew, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away! Oh, ew, ew, ew. Ew, 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 ew. Okay, we're gonna need you to come over here. Okay, we're gonna need you. Okay, I know what to do with that. And we're gonna need you. There's no zombie over there. Usually the other um, levels, there's a zombie in that area, so. Will I need to heal soon? I don't know if I'm gonna need to heal soon. Let me triple check. Am I gonna need to, I'm in caution. Might as well, right? Oh look, it's another buddy. Now this zombie, um, kip 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 Oh no! All right, we're gonna need to take this guy down. And he's probably going to turn into a crimson head. But ugh. yeah, are you gonna stay like that, or do I need to teach you some manners? Are you gonna stay like that? Are you- are you gonna- no, he's not gonna stay like that, he's gonna- last for the day. 
Risen. He's a risen. Oh crap. Eat. Okay, there we go. I need that other dagger there. Ugh, god. First kills are special. I did. That's not an achievement. That's just something that you do in a horror game. You just <laughs> you kill them. Wow. Okay, so you want to push this thing down because what she's holding is very, very crucial if you want to save Chris Redfield. Um, yes, I know. I just gave away part of it. But with this game, you have the choice to either just save yourself and run, save Barry, uh, save Chris, uh, Chris Chris. <laughs> <laughs> save Chris or save everyone which is my goal in this playthrough is to save everyone but I, I know I can't please everybody so we'll see what happens we'll see how this goes um, depending on how the playthrough is I haven't played this in so long I think we're gonna go to the cemetery next because that's where um, that's where one of the keys are that we need to get and a very lovely zombie that we have to um, do stuff for overtime. You're gonna see what I mean in a little bit. Um, but I really hope you guys enjoy this playthrough. I'm so passionate about this game. I really, this is by far my favorite franchise ever in creation. All thanks to you, Dad. Ah, oh, this graveyard. I remember you. Oh, wait a second. Over here is something. Yes. Yes. It's gunja shotgun shells. Yes. I don't remember. Remember, we need remember. Remember, we need remember. Okay, here you're going to. There's a shape. Okay, you're going to take this and you're going to examine it, and the arrow that's used from this is going to be used on that. So, and take that and remove that. This arrow has made from Peridot, sometimes referred to as poor man's emerald. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. So we're gonna use that. And parfait. See, I thought I picked normal mode. In normal mode, there will be zombies that will be after your ass right now on, in the graveyard section. But this, oh man, the, the way that they did the remake of the remake of the remake is very good. And okay, over here, this is what I wanted to tell you guys. Each of these is a mask that you're going to find throughout the game for the first part of the game. Um, it's basically a reference on I hear no evil, I see no evil, I speak no evil, and all four combined together. So you have one of uh, where the eyes should be, one where the nose should be, one to where the mouth should be, one where like everything should be. So it's kind of like that, that pun on that, but it's really done in a cool way. And then once all that is taken care of, a zombie is going to come out of that, but it's going to be a really intense crimson head that depending on what level you're on is either really, really difficult to kill or really just frustrating to kill. Okay, so this is the first key that you're gonna get. And we're gonna go, okay, the following inscription is carved into the indentation. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. Yep. Okay, so we're gonna examine this. Uh, will you remove it? Yes. Okay, so we got the mansion key. And that opens up that book of curses. Okay, the four masks. A mask that smells no evil, a mask that sees no evil, a mask that cannot speak, smell, or see evil. When all four fall into place, evil will awaken. Oh, interesting. All right. I always thought that was a really interesting quote from that book, but once we investigate this key a little bit further, we can see that this key is actually, in fact, the sword key. It's sword. Yes, it's an engraving of a sword. So it's the sword key. Do you like my swordiness with my sword key? Huckleberry fucking tuck sword key. So we're gonna open up some doors. And then I'm thinking of saving it. I don't know yet because I could go on forever and I could technically finish the game tonight <laughs> if I wanted to. But we're going to leave some room for the imagination and we are going to, after we open up our first door, leave it here. Not here, here, but you know, here. You guys know what I mean, right? <laughs> See, just a lot of door opening. It's just a lot of slow door opening. So we're gonna go back over to where that other zombie was uh, in the very first part, and we're gonna open up the door over there because that is one that needs a sword key. 
Do a voice for every key. Sword key, helmet key, knife key. There is no knife key, actually. You use the sword key. I have to be very careful and just pay attention because uh, underneath some of the tables here are are things that you can use like ammo, 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 or um, what you call it? Uh, oh come on, push it. See, this is why I call her Drunk Jill because she <laughs> she always tries to smooth up against every Savage Jill. Okay, thank you. See? There's a sword underneath there. Will you take the dagger? I'll take the dagger. Okay. I oh, know we need to push it the other way, apparently. Okie dokie, artichokey. Okay. Is that. Yes, there is anger ammo. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Alright. Oh, see, look at that beautiful face. Beautiful face, indeed. Okay, so we don't have a key for that yet, because that needs an old key, but what does this say about the painting? A picture of the mansion against the setting sun. Ah, uh, beautiful indeed. See, it's just a slow door opening. Like, I wish they would have improved in making the door opening a little bit faster. Oh. They made the water actually water. Before, it was murky crap, so you couldn't see shit. All you saw was the murk. They actually made it look like water this time. Oh man. Remove the plug? Yes, that does not sound sexual at all. Psh. Oh, no. No, I don't wanna I don't wanna hand grab it up at me. Oh goodness. Yeah, because moving back is really gonna help you out. Oh. Oh. Get off of my feet! Don't touch these shoes, they're Prada. Oh. Well, not Prada anymore. <laughs> yeah. It kind of reminds me, actually, today, whenever I was outside uh, with my dad, I, <laughs> I, he accidentally weed whacked a snake, because we get a lot of garden snakes. So he, ac he accidentally <laughs> weed whacked a snake. And he was like, Ariel, come out of here. I saw uh, there's a dead snake. I killed one by accident. And it was like one of the tiny garden snakes that you find. I felt bad for it. I just felt bad for it because I was just like, oh, why is there, why is the snake dead? And then when I saw it, it was like all its parts were falling out. Just everything was just all guts, but his head was still moving. That was the messed up part. <laughs> I took a step back because I was just like, oh, his head is still moving. Wait a second, was that there before? I don't think the Umbrella logo was there before whenever I first played the game. That's interesting. I don't know why they put it in there. Huh. Well, I don't have the fake gun to put in here because when you get to this part of the game, you have, you have to exchange guns. I don't have the fake gun. So, I think we're going to have to uh, save ourselves. But I wonder if Barry is going to come saving us, which he probably will. He probably will because we don't want to end up being a Jill sandwich. So if anybody gets that joke, I love you and you are part of the Resident Evil clan. <laughs> oh, I can't carry any more items. Crap, my face. Okay, we're, we're going to have to make some room. I need to... What? You could discard items before. Oh, that's shitty. Really? Okay. Can I use that? And wow, that's sucky. That's really sucky that I can't take that yet. I need to take that though. <laughs> Hashtag life. Okay, I'm gonna have to leave. Oh wait, no, I can't leave this here? Wow. Okay, before whatever, you, you could actually leave items. So I'm going to have to use this. Shit on me. That's not advisable. Do not use your herbs when you are just fine. Only use them if you're in grave danger. To, wait a second. <gasps> I didn't have to use the herbs. Okay, back in the GameCube, you could only use, um, you had to use two blocks. You couldn't just use one block to store something like that. That's actually a really cool thing that they did. Uh oh. Well, this isn't good. The 
door won't open. Help me, Barry. Help me, Barry. Oh God, what did I do now? Wesker, yep, well. Barry, help! Jill, hey, you in there? the rescue. Barry? Get me out of here. The door's jammed. <laughs> Stand back. It's terrifying. Ugh. Ugh. Grab my hand. Ugh. Wow. Barry. That was a close one. <laughs> a second late, you would have fit nicely into a sandwich. <laughs> fit nicely into a sandwich. Really? See, I told you. Thanks. But Barry, didn't you say you were going back to the dining room to find other clues? I'm glad and all, but why are you here? I just had something I wanted to check. Right, you wanted to anyway, check. we should get back to searching for Wesker and Chris. Thanks, Barry. I owe you one. Don't mention it. Okay, well, we're gonna save it. Um, I think... I'm gonna go back over here. Achievement unlocked. What a great guy. Oh, man. Okay, so we're gonna go over here because there is a save room over here and I want to avoid the zombie over there. So, we're gonna go... Oh, crap. Ah! E! E! Okay, I need to shoot at you. Come on, go down. Down. Ugh. Alright, you're gonna rise again probably, but I don't care. I'm gonna save right here. Because, oh my god. <laughs> okay, oh, the nostalgia with this game is just absolutely incredible. I'm going to be continually geeking out. But one thing you guys want to remember, this chest here, this will be your lifesaver. Unless you do like on extreme mode, whenever you can't use your chest or whatever. It's, it's a whole big ordeal where you'll only have one and then you won't be able to use any others. Or you won't be able to use any chests at all. But first aid sprays are going to be your lifesaver. Oh, that feeling whenever you get a new chest. But yeah, I am going to toss this in here because I don't use the knife at all. Unless it's to cut something or unless it's to, to cut the spider webs or whatever. I'm not using it. I'm going to put this over here. We're going to take this because that's what's going to be used to kill the zombies before they turn into crimson heads. So we're going to take that, but we're going to put it in here for right now. And I'm going to take this actually. Oh, okay. Special instructions for disposal of dead bodies. We have new information regarding those beings that may appear dead, but in fact they are able to come back to life. However, there are ways to prevent them from becoming active again. Currently, there are only two known methods to cease their resurrection. Incineration, destruction of the head. Very simple. <laughs> if further methods are discovered, you will be notified immediately. Now, who is this we that they will be notifying? Stars or Umbrella? Meanwhile, to those of you who still have the will to live, oil has been placed on the first floor of the mansion. Take as much as you need. I kind of... Oh, wait, there's more. You'll need something to light it with, which you'll need to find by yourself. Thanks, dude. Um, I kind of like how this guy just wrote the, um, the notes and sporadically placed them throughout the mansion as if he's just like, here... Here, I, I, I'm gonna help you survive in some way, but not actually, like, give you anything. Like, I gave you this, but the rest you have to find on your own, you schmuck, okay? So yeah, we are going to save it here. I just want to make sure that everything is locked and loaded. Uh, I actually want to put that back in the chest over there. Because I'm not gonna need the fuel canteen as of right now. Because I want to be able to show you guys, if you guys haven't played this, obviously, what a crimson head looks like. Because they're nasty fuckers. You don't mess with a crimson head, like, they are nasty. It's an old typewriter. You can save your progress. You see, Gribbon? I shall. So this is where you save. Oh, it has a little blotchy blotch thing of blood. I like that. Okay. Saving content. You see, before we used to do the thing where it would, like, type out the name, like a type- apparently this is typing. <laughs> Okay, so that is the first episode of Resident Evil Remake, 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 Remake. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this so far. Let me know that down in the comments below if you want an intensive walkthrough like this or you just want me to just be silly and play through and not worry about telling you guys what's what with the game or like what you should do or any of that stuff because I know some people prefer that and some people don't so please let me know down below what you think. But if you guys like my face and what I do please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell down below because I make videos every damn day. Stay casually nerdy you guys and I will talk to you all in the next video. Peace.